If you have a lot of canned chicken on hand and are trying to figure out how to make it taste good in a recipe, here are three recipes that I make whenever I'm trying to use up my canned chicken. The first is a macaroni salad. It's a macaroni chicken salad and you will first just go ahead and cook up your macaroni. I made it about two cups dried and so when it cooked up it ended up being about four cups of pasta and I drained it then I added in my mayonnaise and about two heaping tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I will have exact measurements of everything down below so don't worry if I'm going a little fast. Next I went ahead and kind of shredded up half of the can of chicken. This is a rather large can of chicken, it's 12 and a half ounces. So if you are shopping at the Dollar Tree, your can might be slightly smaller than this and this was made with that in mind. So after I spooned in half of my can of chicken, I went ahead and also added in salt, which you don't need too much because the meat is a little bit salty and some pepper as well. I like a good amount of pepper, so I went ahead and took that lid off and dumped some in. Next, you're going to add in the secret ingredient to making a quick chilled salad, which is this seasoning blend. It has peppers and onions and parsley and a little bit of celery in it. Dollar Tree sells it and so does Walmart. This I got from Walmart. I went ahead and put in about a cup worth and then I discovered I really needed to dump this all into a bigger bowl otherwise it would be a pain to mix up. But using that frozen seasoning mix is going to chill your salad super fast so you will be ready to eat it even quicker. So if you're looking for a fast lunch or even a fast quick light dinner, this really fits the bill. Now if you like your salad a little bit sweeter, which some people do, then you can add in about a fourth of a cup of pickle relish and that will really bring that flavor home if you like a little bit of that uh, you know, vinegar or sweet flavor to things. This is a delicious salad. I love pairing this with some brown crackers and I used to eat this growing up all the time except for instead of canned chicken we would use tuna and it's delicious. It makes a such an easy quick meal for lunch and is just really well balanced. Plus, it makes a whole lot for a very little amount of money. Now, if you also have a lot of canned tuna on hand, this would be another meal that you could use canned tuna in. You could substitute that canned chicken in for some of the canned tuna and it would taste just as delicious. I like the idea of the canned chicken for if I'm taking this to work just because canned tuna can smell a lot stronger than canned chicken would, so I, I like to use the canned chicken if I'm taking the meal to work. Next up, we're making some really savory taco quesadillas. So we're going to start off with our other half of the canned chicken. Don't worry if it's in big clumps because by the time you finish cooking it, it will have broken up and shredded up a lot more. Then you're going to add in about a cup of your seasoning blend. I love this seasoning blend because it's just really easy to use. If you have the just the pepper and onion mix, you could chop those up just slightly smaller and they would substitute in perfectly in this dish. Next, we're gonna add in our taco seasoning. If you have one of the packets, it's about two tablespoons worth of seasoning mix, but if you have one of these bigger containers, which I like to use just because we use taco seasoning in a lot of different things, I went ahead and just put in about two tablespoons worth of the taco seasoning. Then you're going to mix it all until it's heated through and those vegetables have gotten nice and soft. Next, you're going to heat up your tortilla if you need to, if it's not very pliable, or if it's soft already, you can go ahead and just keep it out of the microwave. I heated mine up a little bit because they had gotten a little hard. So I went ahead and spooned in about a third of our mixture on here. This is going to make about three quesadillas. Next, we'll place about two to three tablespoons of shredded cheese. You can use whatever shredded cheese you would like. Shredded mozzarella, this is a shredded Mexican blend, but if you have the cheddar block from Dollar Tree, that would work perfectly as well. I wanted to make sure that these recipes could easily adapt to Dollar Tree meal options just because I know a lot of people only have Dollar Trees nearby and I want to make sure that these recipes and meals are as accessible as possible. 
Next, onto your heated skillet, you're going to place your quesadilla on one side and let it toast up and let it brown up. It, it should take about 30 seconds before you need to flip it and the other side will get nice and toasted brown. As you can see, it got really golden. That cheese inside is going to melt perfectly and you can use a pizza cutter or a knife just to slice up these quesadillas. These are great kid pleasers just because they're very easy to handle. You can see all that cheesy goodness inside. The cheese melted perfectly. Plus, you've got some protein, you've got some veggie, and it's fully portable, which is a huge plus if you're on the go. This next recipe really thinks outside the box, or should I say outside the can? <laughs> Too corny? Anyway, well, we're going to use a, a bunch of different seasonings, which of course the exact measurements will be in the description box. An egg, our can of canned chicken, which I did use the whole can this time and I drained it well. I added in my seasoning mix as well as my breadcrumbs and cracked in that egg and then went ahead and it stirred it really well. Now the chunks of chicken are going to shred up somewhat and that's fine because that will help the seasonings to really incorporate so you don't get a big chunk of unseasoned chicken in your mix. And next we're going to take our pizza pan and we're going to spread about a fourth of a cup of the Italian seasoned breadcrumbs on top and spread out our chicken mixture on top evenly. You're also going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. After you spread out your chicken, you're going to go ahead and sprinkle the top just a little bit with some more of those breadcrumbs. This is going to coat the chicken really well and help it to really crisp up in the oven when you put it in. Next, put it into the oven for about 10 minutes on one side. Then we're going to take it out once it's nice and browned and flip it. While it starts to cook, I'm going to go ahead and get started on our egg noodles. I did about two cups dried of the egg noodles. It's been 10 minutes, so we're taking out our chicken, and you see our patty has gotten nice and browned on one side, but that top is still needing a lot of color. So we're going to flip it over. This is going to allow both sides to brown evenly. The outside of this chicken is so nice and crispy once it's finished cooking. If you're struggling to flip this, don't worry. You could make this into smaller patties that will be easier to flip, or you can just wing it like I did and try using two spatulas or whatever you have on hand to flip it. Next, I went ahead and drained our noodles and got to work on our marinara sauce. I went ahead and stuck that chicken back in the oven for 10 more minutes to brown on the other side while our marinara sauce started heating up. Once the chicken came out, you can see it got brown on both sides. I took my pizza cutter and went ahead and sliced it into strips, or at least attempted to slice it into strips. The egg and the breadcrumbs really helped this to hold together for the most part. After cutting it into strips, I went ahead and just sliced it once across in half just to make those strips a little bit shorter and more manageable. Next, I went ahead and plated up my egg noodles. Of course, you could use whatever pasta you prefer or whatever pasta you have on hand with this meal, but the egg noodles are a really great vehicle for that sauce and really complement the chicken well. I spooned on about half of the, that chicken patty on top of our egg noodle bed, and then I went ahead and started pouring our heated up marinara sauce on top. I didn't add a lot of seasonings to the marinara sauce, in fact, I don't think I added any seasonings to the sauce, but you could of course fix it up with a little bit of oregano or some garlic powder or onion powder just to bring out some of the flavors in the sauce. I next topped everything off with a good helping of cheese, and then I did put a little dash of this Italian seasoning on top just to bring the flavors home and add a little more seasoning to those egg noodles. And here's our finished plate. The chicken is so nice and crisp and holds up really well against that tomato sauce. And the egg noodles are a great bite and hold the sauce really well. Thank you all for tuning in this week. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one.